hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is inkiruka if this is your first time here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for tuning in today so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to choose the best syringe and needle size for your intramuscular injections welcome back so for the syringes the syringes comes in sizes and they are also calibrated or labeled based on how much medication they can carry or they can take okay so we have like two mil syringe we have five mil syringe we have six mil syringe we have 10 mils we have 20 mil syringe even up to 60 mil syringe or even more so for you to choose the right syringe for your injection you have to check the quantity or the volume of the medication that you're about to inject then you choose a syringe that is of the same size with the medication that you're about to inject or you choose a syringe that is closer to the size of the needle that you needed so for example if you needed a two mil syringe to administer a two mils volume of injection and you don't have a two mil syringe i will advise you to go for a five mil syringe because it's closer to two mil syringe but if you go for a 10 mil syringe or a 20 mil syringe you may underdose yourself or you may end up giving up giving yourself a higher dose of injection other than the normal dose that you have that is prescribed for you so that's why you have to choose a syringe that is of the same size with the quantity of medication you need or the one that is closer to the quantity of the medication you need because on other um, kind of on other sizes of syringes on the bigger syringes you will see that they are not calibrated the way the smaller ones are calibrated so you have to choose the syringes that correspond with the quantity of medication that you are about to administer. for the needles the needles come in sizes as well and when you see a pack of needles you will see a number then you will see a g then you will see another number so the number you see before the g the g stands for gauge so if you see 23 g and one at the end it means 23 gauge one inch needle okay so these are these are how the needles come they come in gauge so we have a lot of them we have 14 gauge 14 gauge needle we have 20 gauge 21 gauge 23 gauge 30 gauge and this is how the needles are numbered the higher the number of the gauge the lesser the size of the needle but the smaller the number of the gauge the bigger the size of the needle so for your injections to choose the right needle for your injections you have to consider a lot of things firstly you have to consider the root of the medication if it is an a subcutaneous injection you know the subcutaneous layer is just beneath the skin so you don't need to go far so for subcutaneous injections you need a smaller needle for about 25 to 30 gauge needles for an adult if you want to give a subcutaneous injection so that is one thing you have to check but if it is an intramuscular injection the injection the needle has to get to the muscle of the person that is taking the injection so you have to choose a needle that is long enough to reach the muscle of the patient or yourself if, if you are injecting yourself so for an adult 20 gauge to 22 gauge needle is usually the best needle size for an intramuscular injection for an adult for subcutaneous injection 25 to 30 gauge needle size is usually best for a subcutaneous injection for an adult so another thing you have to check before choosing the right needle for an intramuscular for an injection is also the size of the patient the weight of the patient if the patient is fat you have to consider the kind of fat the person have on the buttocks on the thigh or on the deltoid muscle that you want to give the injection so if you see that the person is kind of chubby the person has weight enough weight you can go for a bigger needle okay remember i said for adults for intramuscular injection 20 to 22 gauge needle is the best for them so if it's a bigger patient you can go for 20 gauge needle but if the patient is very lean or skinny you may go for a smaller size needle for an adult you understand so for someone being an adult doesn't mean you should 
carry a very long needle to inject the person that is not it you have to use your common sense at this point to say ah this patient is an adult but this patient is very big the patient is very fat and if i use this smaller one if i use a 23 gauge needle for this patient it might not get to the muscle of the patient because the patient has a lot of adipose tissue so you will have to choose probably 20 gauge needle or 21 gauge needle that will be able to get to the muscle of the patient but if the patient is very tiny is a very skinny patient you know if I, if you use a bigger needle it will probably touch the bone of the patient and injure the patient you have to go for a smaller needle maybe a 22 gauge needle or a 23 gauge needle then another thing you have to consider why choosing the right needle for injection is the age of the patient for children children you know children are smaller so they need a smaller size needles for their intramuscular or subcutaneous injections but i am not focused on the children now i'm focused on the adults so in a nutshell to choose the right needle for an injection so what do you have to consider you consider the patient's age you consider the patient's weight you consider the root of the medication of the injection you consider the volume of the medication before you choose the right needle for the injection and remember for an intramuscular injection you choose 20 to 22 gauge needles for adults and for subcutaneous injections you choose 25 to 30 gauge needles for adults and for children you go for a smaller needles but i didn't get the gauge for the children because i am not focused on the children i'm focused on the adults so this is how to choose the right needle and the right syringe for your intramuscular injections and not only intramuscular injection for your intramuscular and also for your subcutaneous injection so here comes the end of this video i hope you learned something i hope you understood it if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section if you have any comment at all to make keep it in the comment section and do not forget to like share and also subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on the post notification to get notified each time i upload a new video or each time i upload videos like this thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in my next one bye